Hey guys, so I miss having my daily bite of bacon cheeseburger junior wedge. So I'm so glad he made this video promoting the product. Now he does put it with a caveat because of course you have to you have to be in the middle of the fence, right? So you can decide which of, side of the fence you should jump off. So Wedge says, Ultimate Masters new masterpieces, best reprints ever. Best reprints ever. In my opinion, the best reprint ever was Modern Masters, the original, for $6.99 a pack. You got as much value, and it was half the price, less than half, well, actually, exactly half the price of a booster pack of this new set. Now let me go on and I have something very good for you guys at the very end. I promise it will be amazing. It will be an in it will tell you exactly who Wed's Jr. Cheeseburger Bacon Sandwich is as a person and where his policies lie. I'm not gonna spoil it. You have to get to the end of the video. Here I'm gonna counter his arguments. Uh, his arguments is that this is the best reprints ever. I would say no. When you buy a product, you look at the price point. The price is very important when you buy something. People will say Dragon Maze is a crappy set, but what if I sold you a box of Dragon Maze for $20? That would be actually a good deal because you would be drafting packs for less than a dollar, almost 50 cents. That would be amazing to do. And then every so often you get a shock line from a box. Now, the same can be said about A for Revolt. If Revolt is a pretty good standard set, but not at $110, you get $55, $60 from it with the masterpieces factored in. So the price is incredibly important, especially for a product that is a reprint of the reprints. Literally, they took all the master sets, they chose all the highest value cards, and then they said, let's reprint a set of reprints. The reason that I cannot stand behind a product like this is its price. It's very easy to say, oh, look at these fancy cards. Aren't they fancy? And totally forget that yes, they are nice. They are very good reprints, but it is blanking $14 a pack. Think of all the good, you can have a nice meal for $14, like a really nice meal at a sit down restaurant. $14 and people always, complain about how expensive movies are, well, you can go see a movie for $14, at least where I live. You can go bowling. There's so much you can do with $14. Not to say what you can do with $335. Maybe you can get health insurance. Health insurance? Anyone? Health insurance, Wedge? Maybe you can join a gym membership for a year. A year, Wedge. You can probably adopt multiple pit bulls. Now, of course, you have to feed them and stuff, but being the fact that you're made from a, uh, you yourself are a cheeseburger, that's not uh, particularly difficult to do. So back to my point. The reason that I have Master 25 is not because I thought it was an amazing set. No, what I concluded was I can get this for 140, 150 a box. I think it's worth that. Is it worth the MSRP of $9.99 a pack, therefore $240 a box? No. I would say it's a terrible set. If I had to pay $240 for it, which local game stores are still selling at $240, I would say, my gosh, it's a terrible set. The same with Conspiracy Take the Crown. The reason I thought that was a good set was I was buying it for $70. Now, if I was buying it for $100, $100 like Rudy wants us to buy it, then it's totally different. No, I don't think it's a good set at 100. So what he is failing to understand is the price is the most important factor. It's not the cards in it. It's not the cards that are in it that matter as much as the price for those cards. And if the price is sky high, yeah, I'll reduce single somewhat, but at the end of the day, you're creating a new I don't want to call this a masterpiece because it's not a masterpiece. Masterpieces are very specific to certain standard sets. They look different. They kind of go together. Here, we just have like the best cards ever. We have lands, we have creatures, we have enchantments. Bitter Blossom is an enchantment. 
We have multi-color. Cre- I mean, they're just the most expensive cards. It it literally is Wizard of Coast putting all the companies into like a uh, TCG player. They put all the master sets in the TCG player and they select the top 24. And they, they pick from there. There's no creativity. There's no... Ex- what I believe is happening is the Wizard Coast staff is unable to produce new good product. And ma- I think about all the master sets we've had. Those are not new products and they're very lazily made. And the the production... Okay, so there's two ways that you can think of it. You can say, okay, so we saved a ton of money on production costs because we didn't need a creative team. We... Some, we didn't need artwork for many of these. We just reused the artwork. We didn't need a draft team to figure out if it works or not because who cares? Okay, well, the cards themselves should be perfect then. They're not. On the actual stream that they reviewed, the Wizard of the Coast official YouTube channel, on their official stream, the one box topper they opened was crap. The quality was, it was bent, it was... And they tried to bend it back in place, but it didn't work because it's a foil. And it's already production, so it's too late to fix the problem. We're going to have a ton of bent foils. All right, so if you stayed with me now, I promise you the good part. So TCGplayer.com is a sponsor of Wedge. And they're pushing Wedge to sell a card. What card are they pushing Wedge to sell? You'd be shocked to know that card is being reprinted in the exact set that he just made a video of. And he knows it's being reprinted. So he's telling you to go buy this reprinted card right now before December 7th with reprints. Think about it. Think about this for a moment. Wedge is telling his subscribers, just like he told them to join Pico Trade and buy the monthly magic box, to buy a card he knows will tank in price because he specifically said it in this video. Go buy your Creeping Tar Pit. It's Creeping Tar Pit. Today. Right now. On TCGplayer.com. And the argument he uses is, it's such a good card, they are making it a masterpiece. Which also means it's being reprinted. So out of all the cards that he could have chosen... Mox Opal would be like amazing, right? Because right now we don't know if Mox Opal is going to be reprinted. And assuming it survives, I, I don't think it will be reprinted. Otherwise, it would be a masterpiece. Mox Opal was so beautiful as a regular card. I can't imagine it as a masterpiece. It would just be amazing. And there's an artifact. So like the foil on artifacts are, in my opinion, better. No, he's telling you to buy a Creeping Tar Pit, which is guaranteed to be reprinted as a rare. <laughs> <laughs> for $15 on TCG player. How can you trust this guy? He just made a video saying that these cards that will be reprinted will lower the single prices. But he wants you to buy this card right now for $15. And I I'm, I made a screenshot. As soon as I like finished the video, I was like, oh, I got him. I got him good. Because after this card's reprinted, it's not going to be $15 anymore. And $15 is like the low price of what it is. It's going to tank. So everyone he suggested to buy the Creeping Tar Pit right now at $15. It's the price will not hold. The price absolutely will tank into oblivion. And the reasoning, so the danger of Wedge is always a reasoning. His lemmings just follow him and they just take whatever he says as gospel. His reasoning for this card being a good investment today, today... Before the cards come out, December 7th, October 6th is today, a month before we are, no, sorry, November 6th is today, a month before we are inundated with crappy, of uh, these crappy, I own these in foil. They're great. It is a indication that he doesn't really care, and his lemmings don't care. They'll go out and buy this for $15. And then two months from now, they're wondering why the card is five bucks. And this is the guy making your MTG Finance video. This is the guy giving you MTG Finance advice when he's sponsored by the biggest card seller. Who I guarantee you, they want to sell these for 15. They don't want to wait two months from now when these are five or seven dollars. 
These, he literally made a video explaining that these cards will go down in price. And then out of all the cards he could have picked, he could pick some Legacy, some Dual Land, some Mox Opal. He decided to pick one of the cards that are going to be hit the hardest by the reprint. How do I know this card will be hit the hardest? Because it hasn't been reprinted in a long time. It is a stable and legacy. It's one of those cards that the only reason it's so expensive is because there's not many copies of it. Not because it's good, but because there's not many copies out there. So in two months, I'm going to make another video and we want to see where this card ends up. Creeping Tar Pit. And I'll, I'll even use the original version. We'll use the original. We don't need to use a new one because I am almost certain I am almost certain the original one's going to take a massive beating. And if you love Wedge, stay tuned.